What's up, my people, and welcome to the SN95 Power Channel. Today, we are going to work on Project Kendra Motor and do the um, beautification part of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the front timing cover, the valve covers, and the top of the intake. Now, before I do that, I have to do some prep work, and let's go over what I'm going to do for prep work. All right, so to clean the aluminum surface, I like to do um, a couple of things. First, I'll use these flap wheels. Now, I love these flap wheels. They're, even though it says a 180, it's not really a 180. It's not gonna cut like 180, but it's great for removing um, grime and oil and some oxidation. And then I can work my way up to a 400, you know, to try to um, get out any rough um, cuts, not really cuts, but rough spots that the 180 might leave. After I do that, I'll hit it with some brake cleaner, spray everything down, and um, I would use these multi-purpose industrial wipes. Now, these multi-purpose industrial wipes are from my sponsored Gear Auto Works. So, appreciate them sending me a lifetime supply of these industrial wipes. Now I'm just, you know, being um, funny when I say lifetime supply, but more than enough things in here to um, finish Project Kendra and some other future projects. So let's get into cleaning this up. And also, um, after I clean up, I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna show you the colors that, the color scheme that I'm gonna go with. All right, so here's my combination I'm gonna do. I'm um, going to hit everything with some um, primer and I'm going to just do the block black. I'm going to do the timing covers, timing cover, the um, valve covers, and the um, top half of the um, intake. This, um, I believe this is Cummins Beige. And I'm gonna do the lower half of the intake black. And then I'm not gonna clear coat the block, but I will clear all the other components. So let's get into the prep work. I just initially just stuffed some gloves in here to uh, prepare for spraying. I'm going to um, clean up all this grime. I'll, I'll spray it with some uh, brake cleaner first and then hit it with the flap wheel. Now that's about as good as I'm gonna get this clean with that wheel. Some of these spots I'm not gonna be able to get. I don't really have the, the brushes to get up in here. So I'm gonna spray it with the cleaner. Uh, I might have a little brush, so something I can try to agitate and get that off. I'm not gonna hit it with anything else. I'm just going to clean it and then uh, prime it and see how it looks after that. <laughs> All right, we'll let this um, air out and dry, and then we'll uh, spray it with some primer and um, continue along in the process. All right, so you know, um, do this in a well-ventilated area. I've got the garage door open right behind me. Um, it's pretty windy outside too today, so a lot of ventilation coming up in here. I'm gonna let this dry. And really, I'm only gonna do one coat just because I'm gonna spray it with black. And we'll hit this um, 15 minutes from now. 
All right, I got this nice and cured, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with the black. Like I say, duple color, that's all. Nothing special. You know, I really like the way this came out. I don't think I'm gonna hit this with another coat. I think this um, is fine, so I'll I'm thinking about throwing some clear on it. So by the time this finished flashing, I'll make a decision if I'm gonna clear it or not. But yeah, I'm definitely not gonna throw another coat on. I think I've, I've got enough cover. All right, I'm um, gonna hit this other side of this block since I'm using this flat wheel. Go ahead and knock that out, get that dust out of the air, let everything settle, and then start spraying. All right, so while that other stuff is drying, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start trying to clean up this intake and let me just start taking some of this stuff off of it. All right, we'll let this dry. Same um, procedure as uh, what we did to the block. We'll spray it some primer, let that flash, hit it with the um, the Cummins um, beige and um, rinse, wash, repeat. All right, I'm gonna spray this. I'm not gonna record it because I don't want my um, camera to get any kind of break dust, um, spray dust on it, so. We're gonna shoot it with a light coat and then come back with some um, heavy coats later. All right, so this is about 12 hours later. I don't have to scuff it and uh, reprime it because normally if it's within, I believe 24 hours of flashing, you can um, just go ahead and spray another, your, you know, your uh, base coat on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit these. I'm gonna let this garage warm up a little bit. And I'm gonna um, wipe it down with a tack cloth first just to get kind of any dust that's settled on it. And then we'll go ahead and um, spray this with the Cummins beige and give that about 15 minutes, check out how that first coat looks and um, decide how many coats we're gonna go with it. All right, this is a little bit heavier coat. You know, don't mind the oil fill. I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna figure out something to do with the, um, the coil over plug cover. Actually, I might just paint everything the beige except the, um, the lettering and just do that black. But we'll let this flash and we'll be back. All right, I got some good coverage with these two coats. I'm just going to shoot this with some clear and then I'm gonna move on to the timing cover.
So at this point, we're pretty much finished up. I'm excited to show you the finished product, so let's check it out. All right, so this is the finished product and I'm quite pleased the way it came out. Now, let's just um, clear some things up first. This is not the final assembly of the motor. So I did spray over a lot of gasket surfaces, which I will clean that up before the final assembly. Yes, I want this to really stand out and get some attention, but you know, ultimately is this, you know, some kind of like Mustang week award winning, you know, um, engine dress up? No. Like if I would want, if I wanted to go that far, I would have sandblasted everything, sanded some of the surfaces down. It's not, it's not that kind of build. So the idea behind this is just get the engine bay to just stand out and clean it up. So before I drop this motor in, I'm probably gonna re um, reclear the engine bay. There's not many scratches in the engine bay. So it's not like um, a lot of work that I have to do in the engine bay once I drop this in. A couple of changes. Um, the coil covers, I might switch this up I, I didn't fully spray this because I wanted to kind of do this in a, um, a two-tone. So I have to um, fix this. And like I said, the gasket, surface, gasket surfaces, I'll have to go over, you know, where the header ports were, the, um, that housing for the, um, the coolant housing right there i gotta fix that and you know the time of cover but overall i really like how it came out so i'm actually thinking about spraying the valley down in here too but um next thing up is i'm going to take these heads off i'm going to um check the valve guides replace the lashers I'm not gonna um, take it to the machine shop and have them do a valve job. I'm just gonna lap them. This motor didn't have any problems outside of a slight tick. And you know, those are the last adjusters. So I'm gonna place the last adjusters. I am going to um, degree it. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Uh, I got some feedback from some of you subscribers out there and you wanna see um, me degree it. So I'm gonna degree it. So I gotta order the trick flow kit and a couple of little pieces. I degree that, but first I gotta take the heads off, lap them. Um, clean the deck surface. I'm gonna go with black fasteners on this to break up the color. And that's probably it when it comes to this. So I actually got this idea from uh, my man, Greg99, um, turbo underscore ghost. His um, award-winning um, new edge, the convertible, is, has a red color scheme like this. And I, I think it was, um, such a good color scheme in his white convertible, but I didn't, you know, want to use his same color scheme. So we kind of threw ideas back and forth and came up with this beige. You know, I think I, originally I was going to do a black top, but now I think I'm just going to um, keep the tan top since I have the engine bay kind of that color scheme. So, so hey, I really appreciate y'all taking time to watch this video. You know, it's not like the most exciting thing, but it's, you know, it's these little build projects that makes the summer much funner. 
and you know more rewarding you know when show season starts you can pop your hood or you know if you're if you at the drag strip you know land down some nice ets you know at least for us out here in the midwest you know when it's cold like this this is kind of like the off season this is when you do this stuff so if you have a project that you've been working on um tell us down below in the comments i um i'm going down to ponies in the smokies in about 20 something days which is crazy i still have to uh fix the bumper on this car there's i'll show you one of these videos but that's pretty much it for getting this car ready for ponies in the smoky um i'm going to do the motor drop the swap after ponies in the smoky I just, there's just not enough time in case something goes wrong i don't want to put that pressure on us but we'll be down there um one more thing um iron and asphalt customs and i we're going to have a meet probably that friday so more details coming with that Hope everybody can make it down there and hang out and have a good time. So stay safe until then. Appreciate your time and God bless.